Hello everybody! I'm a Pony Surprise and I'm introducing the intro thing for Atomic Monsters. What's in the box today? And, oh, oh, oh my god! What, what, what's happening? Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, not this again! Oh, oh! What the? Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. Hey, that's my bit. Ah! Hey, everybody. It's a feel like Dragoon from Atomic Monsters. How's everybody doing today? We got a bunch of surprises. Specifically, some pony surprises and some puppy surprises. Holy crap, we found a lot today. I have yet to find any of these out in the wild. And then, boom, in one week, look at this. In fact, I didn't even know pony surprises existed. Who knew? So, uh, these are actually pretty cool. We wound up with, like, well, they're not quite two of the same. This one has different hair, but they have the same similar scheme. So, if you're uh, into surprises, come and buy some surprises. How's everybody doing? Sorry there was no video last week. We had a lot going on and uh, didn't quite happen. And uh, we had some trades come in, so I'm going to show you some of our trades and some of our thrift finds. Uh, one of the coolest things, aside from the puppies, these are neat, really, really neat. I really wish we found some of the, the babies for them. Was this... Uh, Strawberry Shortcake, Kenner, Betty Crocker, Easy Bake Oven. This is freaking amazing find. Super rare. I've been looking all over eBay trying to find it. In fact, I've only ever found a couple even on Google. And uh, that's going to go on our, our uh, eBay store. store. Uh, if you particularly want it, let me know. And maybe we can work something out ahead of time. But the next time Heather comes, this is going right on our eBay store. And uh, it's got the oven inside. I'm not going to take it apart. It's got the oven. It's got the bottom tray. And it's got a couple of the, uh, the, the trays and stuff. And it's great. This thing's freaking amazing. It's also in French if you're multilingual, which is a good thing. And uh, we got a bunch of other stuff cool coming in today. I just wanted to go over some of them. I did some trades with both of the mics, plus we did some thrifting. We got this really sweet Dark of the Moon uh, Ultimate Mech Tech Optimus Prime. It combines with this trailer. It's really, 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 really sweet. Uh, we also got this from Robots in Disguise Beast Hunter Optimus Prime from the other mic. Which looks like it's, I, I, this is uh, based on one of the movie molds, but it's been simplified to go along with the Robots in Disguise toy line a bit. So he has like weird arms over here, but he's also really cool if you want a green Optimus Prime. Missing his big sword and stuff. Also got a, a movie Jazz and uh, Jolt from Dark to the Moon. Uh, some carded stuff. Picked up this really cool Batman Returns Penguin Stamper. Uh, some My Little Pony Super Ponies. We had three of them. That other one already sold. These things are really cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one just kind of proves uh, Apple Jacks into bondage. <laughs> Though if you look at the back, she looks like she clearly has a lasso. So maybe there's some Wonder Woman happening there. Who's also into bondage. It's true. I was digging through some stuff that um, Mike brought in to split with me because he wanted—he just doesn't have the space for it. So I got to sort it for him. And in there was this really cool Optimus Prime walkie-talkie. I should open it up and make sure there's not a battery in it. Good. Uh, normally these come in a pair. So there's only a one. But uh, it looks really freaking cool. And absolutely horrible at the same time. <laughs> um... Got some pretender shells in. We got a, a star scream and we got sky high. So it's pretty cool if you're looking to they 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 display really nice as is. Uh, or if you're looking to complete if you have either of the bots to go with them. Uh, we have those now. These are really cool. 
and also some G1 ponies. We got a G1 Sky Flyer, and uh, I love sea ponies. We have uh, Celebrate now in the store to go with their other G1 ponies and sea ponies. Really great stuff. Um, we got some cops and quirks in. Where's the other one? Which is really good. Whole bunch of turtles, including multiple metalheads. Actually, you should compare these to your metalhead and see which is better. Mm -hmm. More turtles. We actually got uh, two. Where's the other one? Two Thunder Punch He Man's in. I don't think I have the other one here. Uh, the other one's different. Uh, this one's head's kind of goofed up. This one's actually going to our friend Krista. Um, actually, she can pick between either of them. The other one, though, uh, is an overall better shape, but doesn't have any of the paint on its chest. So whichever one she wants is hers. Plus a battle damage Skeletor. These things are always cool. I loved these as a kid. More turtle. There's actually a really, really funny story here. At the, one of the one of the shows where Mike came and bought some stuff for me. He actually bought this this uh, um, an antenna off of me for like I think I had a two dollars on it, and I wound up getting back room because he found a better antenna. So, you know what goes around comes around. And we get more. A buzz off who's only got one wing. So he kind of flies in a circle. Ah. And the Dick Tracy. And this really cool Vance Astro. Uh, Marvel Legends. I really wish I actually had a shield. That would be amazing. Those who don't know who Vance, Vance Astro is, he was uh, in the 90s revival of Guardians of the Galaxy when they got their own series. He was an American astronaut who was sent to, I believe, Alpha Centauri in a sleeper ship. And to preserve him, he wore this special suit that he could never take off ever again. And he gets there like thousands of years later. And mankind's already reached there. And so they like celebrate him when he arrives there. And he goes on this quest to find Captain America's shield to bring hope to the galaxy. So he's essentially the future version of Captain America. And we got a Brave Star. They got this really cool gimmick where they... It works, but... When I move the arm, the button goes in. It's got a button on the back that's supposed to be able to quick draw for him. I'm having a little trouble. There we go. With his armor as well. Uh, Bob the Goon from the Batman movie. He has kicking action. Got some more sectors in. Today we picked up this 25th anniversary uh, Cabbage Patch Kid. Don't, I normally would skip this by, but but uh, the, the the thrift store we were having was having a 50% off sale, so he effectively was only like a buck. A uh, bunch of VHS. I'm pretty excited for that. Some Sergeant Slaughter happening with some monster trucks. Where'd the other two movies go? Also this uh, tour video with Motley Crue, Gorky Park, Ozzy, The Scorpions, and Jam. And I had another one with Rage Against the Machine. It's upstairs. I think I stuck it in something, so I don't know where it is right no, now. No, didn't you put it in the VCR? Yeah, but I brought it back downstairs specifically for the video. Oh. 
I'll find it. It's here somewhere. This one actually was really, really sweet. This uh, awesome Doctor Who Dalek dress. It's a small, sadly, so none of us can wear it. But it made me really excited to see this. This is amazing. A mm -hmm. whole bunch of extra sketches, actually. Where'd the other two go? These are the more medium-sized ones. But I've had some people keep asking me, do you have any etch sketches And I'm like, no. Now I do. If you're one of those people, come buy an etch sketch They, those are things I have trouble keeping in. They sell really fast. actually showed this bag last time. Yep, we've seen this. Nothing to see here. Ignore that. I'm actually going to open my drink. So uh, anybody who, whose YouTube algorithm has brought you there saying it's a kid's video? Nope. Some uh, of the new Holly Hobby. It's nice, always nice to find stuff still in the package. It's really cool. Pretty sure this is Princess Luna. I am Queen Chrysalis. I'm wrong. That's pretty pushy. <laughs> now I want to get, um, what's her name from Doctor Who? To like stand here. Moisturize me. Brush my hair. Moisturize me. Brush my hair. I kind of really like this. Maybe none of you will own this and I might, I might keep it. This is awesome. I really like that. She's got a good fashion sense. Make it the skull to talk to her later. Clothing. This is from a while ago, so I don't remember these. Oh, this is one of your shirts. Oh. Remember that? Yep. You should go upstairs. Yep. <laughs> Stop staring at my shamrocks. You have amazing shamrocks on. <laughs> There, you might even say they're lucky. <laughs> I'll put your shirts back in this bag. Okay. But this shirt I got for me today. Actually, Mel found this. I collect cat shirts. I have cats as astronauts and cats in suits. And this one's awesome. I'm gonna wear this. I might wear this tomorrow. I love this shirt. I'm going to put this in your bag, though, with the other clothes. Okay. I don't know how many Canadians are watching this. I know there's, there's a number of local people watching it. But if you were watching much music in the 90s or, early, or late 80s, you probably remember Candy and the Backbeat. The only song that probably ever got much play was Under Your Spell. But... Uh, one, they had this, which I've never seen in a physical copy in person. And two, they it's one of the cheaper thrift stores. And three, everything was half price, so I just had to grab it. Might listen to it later and then throw it in the trash just because it's trash. But it's fun trash. <laughs> uh, oh, some glassware. This one's for Mel. This Walking Dead mug slash glass.
I'm going to read the funnies on all of this later. This one's also for Mel. What's the date on that? 1980. That's sweet. That's why it looks like some of the earlier Miss Piggy. Yep. I actually really like anything that has earlier designs of the Muppets. That's like some season two Miss Piggy. But this one's actually the, the glass that made me really excited. Nineteen seventy-seven. Check that glass out. Don't go swimming in the fillet of fish lake. I don't know how a fillet of fish would function in a lake because they're like battered. I'm pretty sure they'd just be soggy messes just floating around. That's probably the most horrifying lake you could ever go swimming in. Just think of a lake full of like chunks of fish and batter. Ugh. I dropped our alien. I'm sorry, alien. Um, I think we've seen this. Yep, we've seen this bag. It's just somehow wound up back here. All right. Some more clothing for Melanie, actually. This is a really sweet find. It's technically scrubs that somebody's had custom made. But she's a huge Scooby-Doo fan. So she's going to be wearing the crap out of this. I don't know. She might be assisting on some surgery. It's just kind of showing up at a, uh, at a hospital sometime. <laughs> They're like, who are you? Bratz fashion pack that we found in package. Uh, we got this bag with a command drone. Actually, that day was kind of interesting because we found a lot of command drones, but all the other ones were like broken. But this one's in really good shape. Command drones were actually a toy line by Tomy. Which, because Takara, Takara and Tomi are now the same company, means that technically Hasbro has access to them, so they actually could count as part of the Transformers toy line. But uh, McDonald's uh, bought a bunch of uh, Tommy's extra stock and marketed them in, uh, in Happy Meals in the 80s. This is actually the, uh, the first McDonald's Transformers was these things. There was a jet, a spaceship, and the uh, race car. The jet and the, the race car look like stuff that existed in the real world, world and the spaceship didn't. Also the spaceship was weird because its hands were up in the air. <laughs> and the jet didn't have a face. This one has some bad hands. Might need to do some cleaning on this one. But they, they are neat because they would not only would they work as a, like a pullback car, but they also would walk if they, uh, this one's a little defective. But they've got little feet. If the wind up thing on them works properly, I might take this one apart and take a look at the spring and see if there needs any cleaning. Old stuff builds up dust and grime and probably French fry grease. All this other stuff is pretty much mostly crap, I think. I mainly grabbed it for that. Yeah, dollar store card. Most of these are going to wind up in our quarter bin, probably. It's one of the cars from Cars, I think. Hot Wheels. More crap. All that, you know, that looks friendly. I'm smiling at you, so I'm safe. Saw, saw, saw. <laughs> well, let's see, it works. Okay. <laughs> I'm missing its wheels. Another cheap, crappy van. Yeah, we mainly got that for that, but this is pretty cool. I just happen to like the fact that it's a construction vehicle. I know specifically what this is for, but it's just, it's amazing. It's just like the most murdery looking cute thing that I've ever seen. 
I also got these light bright packages for Toy Story. It's a whole bunch of some of them are used already. Oh, one thing. Oh, this is your time. Oh, your monster high keychain. <laughs> One thing that uh, I picked up that I keep meaning to pick up, and somebody reminded me, I think it was uh, uh, Mike reminded me, for cleaning stuff off of toys, is these Mr. Clean Erasers. I've been meaning to pick one up for years, and I just, once I, I have a bad memory for that, once it's out of mind, I just, poof, I forget everything. If I put something in the fridge, I forget it's there. I have, that's how my brain works. I'm like a goldfish, only I could probably, Lose a game of concentration to a goldfish, I'm pretty sure. This was a sweet Fisher Price find. Usually people want way too much for this, but we found one for a dollar. Sadly, none of the other parts that go with it. That's in pretty good shape for a buck. There was also the um, the garage. I've been trying to find that's the, the Fisher Price Little People garage for ages, and they had one, and they wanted four dollars for it. But the all the decals were peeling off, and the elevator didn't work, so I left it for somebody else. And I'll get my garage later. We also found recently this amazing house, which is in pretty damn immaculate condition. Oh, I love Fisher Price. Seems really cool. Actually, one of the uh, first thrift finds that I got for you was the Fisher Price uh, uh, haunted house mm -hmm. that's sitting upstairs. It's one of the first things I got, Melanie, um, before uh, I became aware that she was just absolutely a turtle fan. One of the first things I got for her was this Fisher Price haunted mansion, and it's been sitting upstairs. It's one of the centers, I think, of her of her collection, and we just keep adding little random things to it. Speaking of turtles, these are a good find. Oh, cool. It has the um, uh, post apocalyptic alternate future episode on it. Oh, yeah. That's one of the best episodes in the entire series, and it's definitely the best set of episodes of the, uh, of the final uh, season. Um, I actually want to make a set of action figures to match up those turtles. And this is the, uh, season three was the return to New York, wasn't it? I don't remember. There's some shorts on here we may not have seen before. Cool. I love the Nickelodeon series. That series is so good. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's that other. Oh. <laughs> That's sweet. We're both huge Rage Against the Machine fans. Yep. And this was like an old dollar store thing from the 90s, but it's really cool. But yeah, I've, I've actually never seen one of these small. I've only seen the big, the big laser. So it's cool to find a small one. Is that everything? Not seen in there. That's everything. All right, get out of our house. We got beer to drink. <laughs>